you take your dog uh, to work day, that was a little while ago, you realize your pooch isn't that well behaved, you might want to consider obedience school. Carrie Brown is at the Biscuit Boutique where you can pamper your four-legged friend and also get them trained. It seems like one of those things that's easier said than done, can be, huh? Uh, definitely. It's not my fault that she's a bad dog, but mm. actually it is because she needs some obedience. Look at that face. How can you say no to her, you know? But apparently um, some people at the station thought that Polly needed some obedience training. So here we are at Biscuit Boutique. Luckily, they have a class that starts tonight, as long as it's not too hot. Uh, what time is the class and where is it held? Um, our class starts tonight at uh, six o'clock and it's held in our parking lot. So we um, are kind of waiting to see how the weather is tonight on whether or not it's going to um, start this week. But um, if people want to give us a call, we can give them that information. But Sherry Davis is the trainer. Um, a lot of people probably know Sherry. She's a columnist for the Bakersfield Californian, and she writes a column on dog behavior and training issues and, and behavior issues that people might have for their dogs. And, you know, we were just saying earlier that a lot of dogs get turned back into the shelter because they, they never get the training, and it's frustrating as an owner when your dog's not doing what you wanted to do but it's just like a child you know you have to teach them what you want them to do what are some of the um, things that you'll teach in the uh, in the obedience training what will people learn well it's a basic obedience class so um, they'll learn how to walk on a loose leash um, sit and down and then sit and stay and down and stay and then Sherry also answers questions that people might have of issues that they're having at home so um, you know it's it's a great opportunity to get a lot of her knowledge by coming to a group class. The class is six lessons and it's $150. Okay, perfect. Um, Polly doesn't even know how to sit. I try and teach her every day and every day it is an epic fail. <laughs> so that's why we're here. <laughs> All right, well we will cross our fingers and hope that she's a good student in obedience yes. school. John, I know your nephew just got a new puppy, so maybe <laughs> the puppy needs, they're called puppy locks instead what? of yeah. the feather what? locks. What do you I think? I don't know. She's, she's an American bulldog. She's kind of oh, big. I don't wow. know that feathers really would go what, well in her. What's she has her short name? Hair too. Her name is Abby. Abby. Abby needs a feather lock. Now, who is this, right, Abby? Who is this that we're looking at? Oh, this is Fergie. How beautiful does uh, well, Fergie look? Well, of course, look? Fergie needs feathers, right? Yes. I mean, yes, for obviously, Fergie, I love. It. And they have right? a big selection She's of glamorous. the ones that you can put she, in. Working and on her you, fitness. You, yeah, for, she is working on her fitness uh, and her fashion sense, obviously. Um, how long does it take to put these in, and, and can we do it ourselves? It only takes a matter of um, seconds, actually, to put in. Um, you do need some special tools that are required to put them in, so um, we do do that here. Um, so it's not something that you can really do at home. They do last for a long time. Um, yeah, because this was one was in another one of your dogs mm -hmm. for like two weeks. Right, and um, so I just washed it, and then we put it into Fergie's hair. So, um, you know, they do last a long time. They are made from real rooster feathers, uh, just like the feather locks um, that are made for the ladies' hair. It's made by the same company, and they decided to make them for puppies. These guys are like really capitalizing on these feathers. Uh, I wow. can you put this in a cat? In the cat's fur? If the hair's long enough. Okay. And then wow. it would be kitty locks. Although, be careful <laughs> when, if you're going to bring the cat into Biscuit Boutique because this is for the dogs out here. But look at this, this uh, nice selection that they have. I don't know if, if Polly's ha uh, hair is long enough to have one of these. Uh, but if you are interested in finding out about getting your dog a puppy lock so they can be the coolest dog on the block, we're live here at Biscuit Boutique, and that's all their information, their phone number. Oh, I think Fergie likes. Oh, she's telling her mama thank you hey. for her feather, for her puppy lock. Oh, Fergie. What, what, do you, what do you think, John? Did I change your wow. mind for Abby? Um, well, first of all, it's not my decision to make, and I can't imagine my 14-year-old nephew deciding to put a feather in his dog's hair. <laughs> That's I just wonder point. what's next. Feathers for what? Like babies? Hamsters? Oh, by the way, she has a blinged out collar on, too. Oh, she's, well, yeah, she's she does Fergie, have a blinged John. out collar. She's Fergie. Come on. She's Fergalicious, as they say. Yeah. She all is right. Fergalicious. Camby, thank you very much. <laughs> but with all the heat, you might actually be trying to cool off in the river or the lake. But remember, not only do you need a life jacket, but so does your four legged friend. Camby Brown is live this morning. What are you wearing, Camby? I am modeling a dog life jacket. What do you think? 
Um, so it's kind of choking me. Yeah, I think I would need to see it on a dog first. Yeah, well look. Oh, look wow. Look what we nice. have for you. Yes, okay, so Relay is your new massive puppy. Oh, pa pa look at Polly, she's being a little feisty this morning. Whoa! Oh no, this is not good. Polly, be a good girl. That's See, your Polly dog, by the way, right? Training. We should point that yeah. out. Yeah, it's my dog being a brat. Princess Polly is being a brat this morning. Uh, okay, so you know what? Just like your kids need life jackets, your dog needs mm -hmm. them too. How did you discover that you needed this for Relay here? Well, this is Relay, and she's 12 weeks old, so she's kind of big for a little puppy, but she's a <laughs> Mastiff. Um, I do have a three-year-old Mastiff at home that I found out couldn't swim and was drowning in the pool, so I put a life jacket on her and she loved the pool. So when I got Relay, whenever we're around the pool, I make sure that she has her life jacket on. And the other day, the two big dogs accidentally knocked her in the pool. And if she hadn't had it on, you know, she could have drowned. So um, for your dog's safety, even for the little guys, we have the little, little <laughs> sizes. And also for Polly, if you're out boating, it's very important because it does have a handle that you can grab if your dog falls in the lake or something that you can pull her up. Okay. Um, back in the boat. And we're out here at Biscuit Boutique if you want to check out these um, life vests. Uh, you know, Polly and I now need someone to take us boating so that we can wear her life jacket. About how much are these? Um, they start at about $25. Okay. All right, perfect. There you go. You can get those at Biscuit Boutique. Uh, not for humans, so I'm going to take mine off. Well, did we say Relay was? Relay is 12 weeks. Wow. That's I a know. Big puppy right there. All right, yes, Cammy. Yes, thank she you very is. much.